Hello everybody, welcome back to Top Impressive. In this video, we are going to be talking about the world's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa. If you have seen some of our previous videos, you should already know a little bit about the Burj Khalifa. But I think it's about time we talk a little bit more about it. But before we do that, I want to let you know to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when a new video is posted. And if you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Now let's get into this. First, we should talk about where the Burj Khalifa is. In this area you see right here is the location of where the Burj Khalifa is, is in this area of Asia called the Middle East. And is in this country you see right here called the United Arab Emirates. And it's in this city right here called the city of Dubai. The Burj Khalifa is right here in downtown Dubai. It's this long structure you see right here. And there are other surrounding structures such as the Dubai Mall, which is right here. And also right next to it, the Dubai Fountain. Honestly, Dubai is a pretty busy city. If and the Burj pretty massive, pretty massive tourist attraction. It gets around 150,000 tourists each month. But it wasn't easy to construct. It took six years to build. It cost $1.5 billion and is over 2,700 feet tall. But despite the huge price, it's actually less than half the price it cost to build the One World Trade Center, which in my opinion is downright insane. Also, it's so tall that you can see it from 60 miles away if the day is clear. Now you're probably wondering. Since the Burj Khalifa is built in a desert, how does it stand up straight? Well, I have something to tell you about that. There are 192 columns that they've made, and they're driven to 160 feet deep when they were building the Burj Khalifa. You may have also noticed that the Burj Khalifa has this, like, Y shape that allows the wind to direct around it. But still, they've made the Burj Khalifa a little bit flexible, because if you don't make it flexible, a strong gust of wind could just break it at the base. So that way, all skyscrapers are made a bit flexible, because it could fall if it's not flexible. I just want to say thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.